How do I look, brother dear? Cheap. Ah. Uh, Justin. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but looking cheap has never hurt me. I don't believe that there are no mirrors in the bedrooms, none in the closets, just a dinky little mirror in the bathroom. Doesn't Kate ever look at herself? Don't you ever look at anything else? You shouldn't drink so much coffee, huh? It makes you edgy. I'll tell you what makes me edgy, you and your breezy starlet act. Why, Jess? Because I want a job at the top of the world club? Because I don't want to sit around mooning about Daddy and scrounging off of Grandma Kate. Look, I have got to go. Hold still, Paige. You want a mirror? Oh, just forget it. Hold still. I can tell you what you look like. All right. Tell me. Who's the fairest of them all? Not bad. What? body. Thanks. I give it another five years. Four. It's already a little cushiony. Nothing a casual onlooker would notice, though. Well, that's a relief. And be sure uh, nobody gets too close. Oh, I always am, brother dear. You make sure you take his glasses off first. I just turned down the lights. The hair. What color was it the last time I saw you? Who knows? I mean, the, through the rainbow since then. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it's got a kind of a chemical glow to it. Just think of it as a halo, Justin. It's a stranger's face. I can't even find my little sister. You finished? Don't go. Don't let him see another marshal come crawling. I don't plan to crawl, just plan to sing. Tell Grandma Kate I won't be around for dinner, okay, will you, when you see her? Tell Alex Wheeler he won't be around anymore when you see him. Well, change the record, will you? I wouldn't be working for him. Just being in the world building won't contaminate me, Justin. Besides, just think about it this way, brother dear. I'm infiltrating. I mean, if you... If you really insist on this vendetta, don't you have to get really close to someone to hurt him? <laughs>